Let's say you just found this awesome data analyst role at Amazon and you're interested in applying. You want to have a portfolio of projects that show off your skills, but you won't need dozens of projects. You'll just need one to impress the hiring manager and show them that you are capable of doing the job. And so in this video, I'll do a walkthrough of how to build a specific project to land this specific job. The idea being that we choose a project that lines up exactly with the job description and the skills required that are listed and even use data from the company to make it more realistic and more or cool. The goal is to actually help them solve a business problem before we even start working for the company. Inside of this interview, we're going to give them some value and that way they give us some value back by hiring us. So this particular project isn't the project you need, but the framework that I'm using to build this project is a framework you can definitely steal and use to land awesome jobs. This framework is something I talk about on a much deeper level inside of my projects course called Data Science Project Studio. It is the best way to build data science projects and portfolios with the least amount of effort and the least amount of time. If you're interested in learning more, there'll be a link in the description down below. So the first thing we need to do is really study the job description so we know exactly what they're trying to find and figure out how we can replicate that in our project. So I have the job description over here on the left hand side. I have read, highlighted the things I found important. So we're trying to uncover valuable insights, solve complex problems, insightful analysis, reporting, critical business problems, notable trends, business performance, key performance drivers, key inputs, key outputs, those types of things are what we're trying to do inside of this project. Let's dive a little bit deeper into the basic qualifications. They want us to basically show that we can solve complex problems with large data sets to produce actionable business insights. And they have a big emphasis on being proficient in SQL, extracting and manipulating data using SQL. So that will be our weapon of choice for this project so we can demonstrate to the hiring manager, yes, we are capable, you want to hire us. So now that we know what we need to show off, let's talk about where to get realistic data that we can kind of come up with that business insight. So usually I'd recommend Kaggle. Kaggle has thousands of data sets and including a lot of Amazon data sets, I'm sure. But I want to introduce you to another resource inside of of your data journey that will be useful and that is strata scratch and strata scratch is an online data interview prep platform with hundreds of data science questions that are taken from real interviews from real companies including amazon so we're going to go ahead and go there and look for what data sets and what questions they have from interviews that have to deal with amazon by the way i'll have a link to strata scratch down below in the comments so make sure you check that out so we're going to come here and click on coding questions right here and then we're going to filter by what company we're interested in. And you see, I've already done that. And I have Amazon. So this are all of the Amazon medium hard questions. So you can also do easy questions or hard questions. I think for this particular one, I'm just going to look at medium for the simplicity of this video. But you could look at any of those. And then we're gonna look on the title on the right hand side and be looking for a title that will match the things that the job description had mentioned. So I think the one that I am interested in, and you can click on these and, and learn more uh, about them. Um, I think the one that I am most interested in is this three purchases one, which basically the prompt is a list of IDs of customers who made at least three orders in both 2020 and 2021. I think this does check some boxes of like valuable insights. I don't think this is necessarily an easy problem. So it's the complex problem, notable trend, business performance, stuff like that. So I think, it, I think we check our boxes right here. There's also a lot of other questions that we could do for this video. I'm just going to tackle one, but you can maybe put together two or three of these different questions from strata scratch and like come up with a really cool, like, series of, of projects that answer these types of questions. But for this one, we're just gonna focus on the, the customers, the three customers one. So here's what I came up with. I don't know if it's the most elegant way, but it solved the problem. So what I did was create basically two different queries, one that got all, all of the user IDs who have more than three orders in 2020 and one from 2021. And I basically did an inner join on them to find what, what the commonality user IDs between them are. So that's what I've done here is I've just found the count when I'm grouping by the user IDs with a having the count being greater or equal to three, um, I also had to change obviously the the year, the dates to a year. I did that for 2020 and 2021, interjoined them and I ended up with U203 and U205. And you see that that is the, uh, the answer and the expected output over here. So I solved that problem. Now you wouldn't just wanna answer this question and like paste the code inside your GitHub and have that be everything that you do. That is not enough. That's not gonna impress anyone. You wanna create some sort of a story and why this is important, how this could impact their business. Do a little write up, explain like what you saw in the job description, explain like your thought process, you know, what trials you had to overcome, like how'd you go through this code and stuff like that. You don't wanna just like 
paste the code into GitHub. It just is not impressive. So you need to create some sort of data narrative or a data story associated with this project. That's something we talk about in the course. We don't have time to talk about it today because I am doing 30 data science projects in 30 days. Today was day 16. I'm so glad to have you on this journey. If you enjoyed this project, you might also enjoy this one that's about Python and this one that's about data visualization. I'll be back again tomorrow with another project. 